This is Respect and Representation, Social Media in an Inclusive Museum, a pilot study at the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts. My name is Sarah Graves, and I'm the Collections Information Specialist at the museum. I'm going to cover an introduction to social media, as well as a pilot study we put together at the museum utilizing social media to try to increase visitor engagement. Social media amplifies the reach of exhibitions and programs and provides opportunities for patrons to respond, which in turn increases engagement. Amplifying the reach of exhibitions and programs can result in a greater diversity in your institution as well as enhance inclusivity. There are three social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 79% of internet using adults are using Facebook, 32% are on Instagram, and 24% are on Twitter. Social media also creates a space outside of the museum for visitors to interact with and learn about your exhibition spaces. Whether those spaces are literally just outside or around the world, social media is a different form of outreach and engagement. Social media also creates ample space for creativity and innovation across all museum departments, such as inter interpretation and audience engagement. If staff are empowered and encouraged to take part in an institution's social media effort, the community, the content, and the visitor will benefit. Staff engagement on social media improves collaboration and feelings of inclusiveness. By widening the pool of museum employees who interact with your museum's social media accounts and training all levels of staff on social media best practices, you can easily supercharge your museum's access to social media. Some of the questions to ask include what can social media accomplish for your organization? What goals can social media help you meet? And how can you better engage your community? These are important questions to not only ask in the beginning, but also to keep in mind as you mold and grow your program. Remember, like anything that deals with technology, social media is always changing. There are four steps that are helpful when setting up your plan. The first is to outline and develop clear social media policies and guidelines for usage, implementation, and voice. If you have a policy, style guide, structure, and rules, it serves as a backbone for informed and consistent posting, and if needed, support when problems occur. A successful museum social media strategy should not stray far from museum's focus on visitor experience, collection stewardship, or scholarship. When creating a social media strategy for your institution, make sure to stay within your mission. Have your social media manager educate staff on social media best practices. When we started almost a year ago, our group had a wide range of experience with social media. We had meetings, training, sessions, and homework to all get on the same page. And finally, go ahead and sign up. Diving into social media is the best way to learn about it. The Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts was established in 1930 and is supported by the City of Montgomery and the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts Association. Our study at the museum started in October 2016. This was a pilot action research study with a small group with representatives from each department. We outlined four goals. First is to increase engagement of visitors on social media. Second is maintain voice while diversifying content. The third is increase our social media presence. And the fourth is to keep driving visitors to the website and our collections kiosk. We established posting schedules along with a Google Drive with how-tos, agendas, trending and hashtag calendars, birthdays of artists, and even and much more. It's expanded into intern projects, creating promotional posts for other nonprofits in Montgomery, and annual event promotion. We were surprised with our results. We had an increase of total Facebook likes up to over 5,000, up 300 from the previous year. Our Twitter followers increased 27% to 1,249. Some of our most popular pages on our website are no longer the welcome page, but are instead exhibitions, plan your visit, and our calendar. There was an increase in our artworks gallery from 36,937 to 49,820. Our previous average was a little bit over 3,000 a month. This year's numbers were 4,500 a month with a total of 764 drop-in activities. Our goal to the future is an outside-in, inside-out focus. We want to increase visibility. We want a first-time visitor to return and are hoping to find ways to keep in touch after that first face-to-face -face is made. A repeat visitor is a lifelong visitor. We want to find out how we can keep them engaged, what do we provide, and what balance of change versus constant do we need to focus on? Social media interaction with our guests will guide our relationship with our community into the future.
Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.